much sense here. 8.40 p.m. Central Time on Thursday, January 22nd, 2015. And I've got you down here in my room. I'm going to show you an email that I sent to the Office of Naval Research as a official Freedom of Information request on the topics of HARP, the High Frequency Active Aurora Research Program up in Gakona, Alaska. And that was back on October 6th of 2014. And let me just bring it in here. You guys can go ahead and read that. I don't care if you see my email or uh, any of that. So uh, I just wanted to show you tonight. I went to my front door and look what I got. Got a package from the Department of Navy Naval Research Laboratory. Okay. And I blacked my uh, address out there so you guys can see. I, I want to officially open it, though, on camera here. So um, let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, you guys can watch me unbox this, so to speak. Um, pretty interesting to see this. Don't know what's inside. So let's let uh, let's see what's inside. As you can see, unopened. It's taped shut. So let's just well. strong envelope here. Okay, let's just tear it open across. Wow, okay. So, let's just go ahead and put my fingers over that. Uh, it's got my address on there and it says, Dear Mr. Janich, this is a response to your letter to the Naval Research Laboratory dated October 6, 2014, citing the Freedom of Information Act and requesting publicly available official documents, manuals, correspondence, patents, pamphlets, notes, minutes, email correspondences, experiment records, professional papers, professional dissertations, presentations, lectures, pictures, photographs, digital scan, copy, and or printed versions, Drawings, blueprints, diagrams, films, negatives of films, faxes, video, VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, MP4, movie, AVI, WMV, audio recordings, cassette tapes, CD, CDR, CDRW, CDRWs, MP3s, MP4As, PDFs, books, magazines, and newspaper articles regarding the high-frequency active auroral research program HAARP. And he says, uh, the enclosed records are forwarded per your request. Fees associated with this FOA have been waived. And I authorized, of course, to um, bill me whatever the cost would be. So they didn't charge me. But I filled that out. I came up with all those variations on what to request. I thought of every possible different form of communication that I could request on. So there we go. Okay. And uh, let's see what we got. The wind harp experiment initial results of high power radio wave interactions with space plasmas. Okay, report documentation pages. The wind harp experiment initial results of high power radio wave. Um, pretty interesting. Gonna have to go over this, of course. We've got each one of these is very thick. Looks like we've got some interesting stuff in here that we've all seen before. Look at that, guys. Look what that is. Okay. Ah, ionosphere diagrams. How they target in the plasma pause. Look at that. Oh, what do you know? They're triangulating from ground base stations. Back down to the ground. We've got all the references. Wow. All the papers references, the transmissions used. And this is just the first report, guys. Look at this one. An electromagnetic interference study of potential transmitter sites for the HF High Frequency Aurora Research Program, 1993. How they chose the site. This report presents the results of electromagnetic interference measurements conducted by the Naval Research Laboratory in June of 1991. This study examined a number of potential sites for the location of the proposed High Frequency Active Aurora Research Program Transmitter Facility. That's the IRI antennas up in uh, Gakona, Alaska now. 
Oh, wow. Okay. And how they chose Fairbanks and how uh, field strengths were me measured there. And that's how they determined the location. Wow. Okay. Well, this one's really thick. Uh, we've got a lot of reading to do on that. Of course, I'll have to do a video on each one of these after I read each one, guys, because this is just, of course, I'm just unboxing now. What's this? Artificial ionospheric plasma clouds using HARP. Oh, look what we got here, guys. I, doubt, I have a whole video on this. You may remember this diagram. I'll put a link down below in this video to this video here about how they created plasma bubbles in the atmosphere and sustained them for over an hour using HARP. Awesome. Here's another glossy graphic. I don't know if you can see the sheen on this. Uh, what is this? Laboratory experiments to produce glow plasma discharges at signals at 2.45 gigahertz. Oh, 2.45 gigahertz, guys. The wireless power transmission, the same transmission signal that's coming out of most smartphones these days, and uh, Bluetooth as well, 2.45 gigahertz. Okay, here's the next one. And this one's really thick. Um, electromagnetic spectrum occupancy study of potential transmitter site for the HARP program. This is 94. Declassified. Oh boy. Wow. This is just a nerd's dream. Oh, look what we've got here. We've got diagrams and how the, the uh, transmission process works. We've got their switch, their spectrum analyzer layout. So, wow, this is everything that you would want to need to know. Amazing. They honored my information request. This is crazy. Oh, look at all this data. <laughs> oh, God. This keeps going and going and going and going. Going and going and going. Oh, it looks like we had an earthquake. Let's see what that was. Ah, another fracking earthquake in Oklahoma. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, this one is uh, black clipped. And, oh boy, look at this, guys. Look at this. The whole actual printout. What do we got? All the photographs. All everything. Wow, 96, 97, how they generate extremely low frequencies, HARP's interaction with the ionosphere, ah, here we go, everything on the antenna array. Wow, look at that, guys, a full layout of the dimensions, the appropriate spacing, the antenna apparatus, everything, not just the photos, guys, not just the photos from the patents that you found, but the actual antenna layouts. Positive and negative. Wow. Oh, and photos. Wow. Peak output. Wow, look at all the antenna diagrams, guys. Low band dipole, high band dipoles. Program status. Well, when was this? 97. Ooh. All the photographs. And all the people. What do you know? Look at all the people. Background information on the location, of course. Band designations. Okay, now we're getting into real technical. Um, monitor frequency sweeps. I mean, okay, more on the wind harp experiments, listening test results around the world, oh, four more information, and all the websites, okay, right at the end gives us all the websites too, all right, uh-oh, <laughs> oh boy, and look at that. 
And this is the last piece, right? This is the last binder clip. Thank you for the binder clips, guys. Environmental impact statements from HARP. Wow. I mean, this is just... It's five pages of acronyms in, the, in this. Look, each one of these is an... An acronym. All right, I'm running out of space, guys, on my phone here. Um, this one just goes on and on and on and on and on. Looks like it pretty much contains everything that you would ever possibly want to know. But this is just what they sent. I'm going to fill out a few more to a few other agencies. Now that the Navy has honored it, I'm going to go to the Air Force and the rest, okay? Always proves that, you know, you can fill these things out, and if they bill you, they bill you. If they don't, they don't. Much love, guys. Please share this video. Let everybody know that the links are down below if you want to know anything about HARP. I've already collected years' worth of data on my website. Now we're going to add this. I'm going to read it all, and I'll get back to you on what it says. Cheers.